I'm Miriam Joy and welcome to my studio. We're going to do another one of these fun tips and techniques video today. Today we're going to be doing um, little Easter wreaths. And these are little styrofoam wreaths. I picked them up at Walmart. They are 97 cents. They came in, I think, three different ones for Easter. I think they had a, maybe a flower, an egg, and a butterfly. So, I mean, the price is right. You couldn't ask for anything better. Also, I've noticed that they've had them in the past for different holidays. So if this is something you like, just remember to look at the different holidays for ones that they have there as well. Now this one's a little bit more complicated and I'm going to do it just a little bit easier today. We don't want to overdo it. We want something that's fast and simple and maybe even enjoy it with the kids, helping them make it. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the colors out of here and you can use as many colors as you want to. It doesn't matter. But in my box of 24, I'm going to use the yellow green and I'm going to use the carnation pink. I'm going to use the purple in here, but I'm going to add white to it to get the lightness of it that I want. Otherwise, it's almost a black color. Always look at your tips to know what color your stroke is going to be. And then I'm going to use dandelion. And those of you who've worked with me before know that dandelion is my yellow of preference, a really great accent color. So, <coughs> excuse me. We're not going to go into detail on how to do the wax process because we want to keep these shorter. So if you have any questions, visit me on my website at miriamjoy.com. There's a great DVD that goes into um, detail about that and can help you with that process. So I'm going to be using my number two tool, the small end, and you can use whatever size you want to. And we are going to... Um, just do some random designs. Now I think I want to go smaller than that. That one looks a little bit larger than what I want. Now foam does work different than the gore, so do be aware of that. So we we're just going to pull some lines across here. And i got to be careful with drips on this. This isn't quite as easy to clean up with it as it is with gourd so guess what we're just going to go with that design and just make this real easy and simple here and let's just pick one and let's just do dots on one i'm going to do a dip dot dot and let's just do it random you could just do one with just all dots but let's just keep this one nice and simple and fun and bright I like the bright colors. I love Crayola because it makes it so much brighter. And you know the rule, only Crayola. So we're just going to dot that one. And we're going to put some like they're descending down into there so that you can see it. Okay, so we got that guy done. Let's go, let's do some yellow on this one. I'm just going to come across with a yellow and let's make a we haven't used green yet let's get into some green here what if we come in and let's do like a descending dot or something on it remember there is no right or wrong on this pattern it's just having fun with it I think I'll put that on both sides And we just want to keep these kind of simple. We don't want to overdo it on these. So I think I'm going to leave that one. Let's go into... Um, <laughs> yeah, this is the fun part, trying to figure out. Let's do... Uh, pink won't go on pink real well. Let's do some swirls. Swirls are real easy. We're just going to come in here. We're just going to do a swirl. We're just going to put them on. You also can put leaves, little leaves like I do on the trees on the, around these little swirls and make them into flowers. Really easy and simple. We're just taking this and just going around with it. Alright. 
Now let's come in here and okay let's do a purple here and let's figure out what we're gonna do on this one let's let's take this one and let's go around the edge of this one we're just gonna make it and come around we're just gonna bring it around Just nice and simple all the way around. And remember, you can make these as complicated or as simple as you want to. And you can repeat your patterns. You don't have to stick with one thing. If you liked all dots, do all dots. There's no right or wrong. And what I would like to do on this one This is where using one pot would be a little bit tougher. It's a lot easier to use however many pots for the different colors you're working with here because you can see how much faster I'm doing it. If you have just one pot, kind of think about what designs you want where and kind of go that way forward. And I'm just going to come in here and finish this one. Now see those little flecks you're getting? If you slow down, which I'm not doing a good job of today because we want to get this done a little bit quicker, you get less of those. Sometimes you still get one or two. If you're getting more than that, slow down. But look how bright and festive that is for Easter. Isn't that fun? Okay. So let's go, we've got that one so fancy, let's go with just a basic line on this one. And just a basic line. And just run it off the edge. When you get to the the stroke on the edge, don't worry about getting the whole thing on there. And I did switch over to my number zero tool and the larger in for some smaller strokes. And we're just going to put these guys on. But look how fun it is just to do some ones like that. You also could come in and do... Uh, kind of a fleur-de-lis type thing with it across too. Be kind of fun. Just kind of bring the sides in and the sides in. Just bring that across. And you notice it's not pulling quite as far as it does when you on a harder surface. The foam is absorbent. It gives you a little bit more workable room. You can actually kind of go back over it a little bit, which I normally tell you that you can't do. Those almost look like chicken tracks. We could almost do a couple of those to have them look like baby chicken tracks for um, Easter. Let's try a couple down here and just see if we want to kind of look at them like that and leave them kind of chicken tracky. Probably put one by one so they kind of look more like if you don't like that put dots above them and below them but I thought that kind of looks like chicken tracks but just use whatever kind of ideas that come to your head and have fun with it and see how we kept those really really simple this one I did a little bit more complex I have a dragon dragonfly excuse me a butterfly I have the Easter basket I have the bunny I have a bee and some tulips and some flowers and a bigger floor to lee so have fun with it just be adventurous and if you have any questions about this project please email me at art at miriamjoy.com or you can visit my Facebook for any of the products, uh, excuse me, visit my website for any of the projects.
<laughs> this is where it becomes fun, is when you try to say this a hundred times. Visit my website at miriamjoy.com. On there, there's a Facebook link where I post something different every day to encourage you to try something new and out of the box. And also on there is the link to the different YouTube videos which you're watching now. And we have close to 50 of these, I think, and we're trying to keep them going for you so that you always have fun um, and easy projects that you can do that encourage you to grow. So thank you for joining me today. God bless.